Welcome everybody to Kingdoms and Castles. Uh, it's it's a how would I just describe this? It's like a base building game in medieval times. You basically assemble a whole little kingdom. Uh, I've owned this game for quite a bit of time, and I just looked back, and it looked like there was a whole bunch of updates to it. And I would like to do the game, I guess. Uh, plus, the uh, the soundtrack is like an absolute banger, even if it's it's a little sporadic in how loud it is and is not. Yeah, that should be fine. So we're going to start up a new world here. Uh, standard mode? Alright, I'm going to start off with a peaceful world right away. Or first off, because it's been a couple years since I've played this game. So let's kind of get used to the... Oh, is this, this is like the starting island. I'd like to do a large island type. Oh, this could be kind of cool. This could be a pretty cool little map. Uh, sure, let's... Yeah, it looks like there's plenty of fertile growing ground around here. Yeah, I think I'll set up... Well, maybe not this one. There wasn't enough fertile ground for my liking. Actually, this one, this land, I don't mind. Uh, sure. Choose a banner. Ooh, ooh, I like this. I like the sword. I'm sorry, D20. Ashton? Oh, no, no, no. We're not calling this Ashton. Uh. Bleakshire. <laughs> oh, I think. Hang on. Settings? Okay, that's better. Uh, keep, build your keep near fertile land, trees, and stone. Iron, there's iron. Here's fertile ground right here. Here's trees. Right here, stone. So, where's all the fertile ground? I'd say... There we go. So, I'm gonna say... That we should build. There's iron, there's iron, there's stone. This is all fairly fertile. That's not a half bad option. Stone and stone. Not a lot of fertile ground, though, right here. Although, over here through the woods, there's a bunch, so we could convert this whole tip of the island into, into food. Iron, iron. Lots of fertile ground, stone. I would like to settle on the larger landmass. So we can make ground like more fertile towards the uh, sort of the end game. Just a rock. Here's fertile-ish ground. Fertile, very fertile ground right here. So the castle, our keep, if you will, gonna go right here. Year one, congratulations. Leakshire has grown, has grown to become a quiet hamlet. All right, so we've got happiness here. Oh, my keep. Okay, thank you. We've got uh, Bleakshire, so oh, so I can. All right, so there's a lot of go there's a lot going on here. So we've got a happiness. So we got to keep our villagers' happiness, and right now they're kind of upset that there's no homes. 
which is a, a very fair complaint. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to build a couple of roads and build a hovel. So immediately, our biggest concern is getting food on the go. Get food, well, we're going to end up constructing farm plots. Now, how productive the farm plots are, how much food they make, is entirely dependent on the soil fertility. So I had a pretty hard time trying to figure out... Oh, I actually have to build the road to extend over there. So I had a fairly hard time figuring out where to build because there was a lot of... As it was a very barren. So we are going to end up needing more wood here. So I'm, I'm going to issue just like a general order. Oh wait, no. I don't want to cut there. I want to cut... Issue general order cut here. And so my citizens will go and cut wood. We've got five, so that is enough for one more hovel. And they'll go from our woods uh, supply there and go get more wood. I have 30 food. How much food am I eating a year? Five right now. So this will hold me for six more years. But I don't want it to hold me for six more years. Oh, what's the, the advisors are advising? Good day. We need farms to feed our workers. Good day, sir. To let our kingdom grow some roads, then houses, and the military, there we really aren't going to be listening to the military much, because this is peaceful. So the reason why I had such a tough time figuring out where I wanted to build is because uh, farms need to be built on either very fertile or fertile, fertile soil. They can't build on barren soil like there is around here. Very fertile, obviously, will yield a better crop. I need three wood to... Uh, I need three wood to, what's the word I'm looking for? Build this farm. I'm going to be looking forward to our next resource. It's going to be a quarry, which we're going to put here. And a quarry will allow us to build, we'll get a stone, will let you allow us to do a forester, which will chop trees automatically and replant them, which is really, really nice. I'm essentially going to try and move the forest more or less over to this corner of the map, because there's a lot of fertile soil over here. I want to, you know, chop down the trees permanently and get rid of. Oh, this is all very fertile right here, so one, two, three, four. We'll start off with four. And then I would like a few more. I'd like to do a little bit of planning here. I would like that road to the forester clear. And let's do a bit more. Uh, chopping of trees here. Uh, three people visited, but only two found a satisfactory home. So next season, it's going to be finish this road to the quarry. Or build the quarry, actually. <laughs> um, our health is fair. Mission pork. Happiness is temperate. So the happier our townsfolk are, the more in taxes they'll pay. Which is a mechanic we'll get into a little bit uh, a little later in the game. Oh, it's the rainy season. Is, is there things... So you can flood in this game, too. Look at how cute the little dudes are. 
or maybe it's the stuff of nightmares. I, 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 I'll admit I'm not totally sure. But yeah, we'll be able to do uh, stone roads, which will allow our peasants to travel faster, uh, bigger houses, cottage, manors, town squares, taverns. The fire brigade, that's new. Uh, a lot of the castle stuff really won't uh, come into play, although we might practice with it. But industry is the big stuff. So foresters to plant and, and chop down trees. Stockpiles to store stuff. Bigger stockpiles to store more stuff. Charcoal makers to make charcoal that our, guy, that our townsfolk will use to get happier. Iron mines for iron. A blacksmith to make stuff. Uh, masonry to... Uh, I think that's repairing stuff. And then this just re permanently removes rock structures. Let's really ramp up the hobble, hobble tree here. I need lots of citizens so that I can do more things so that I can, like, make more food, build more roads, ultimately get a forester. So your main goal when starting off is to get the forester because wood is such an important resource. Wood is actually, like, the only resource. What is, like, the biggest resource that matters, honestly? Good, so now I've got room for 20 beds, which means I could get up to 20 people. So this will be another 5, 5, 5, 15, 35 people. Oh, and the harvest is in, so we got 4 food. How much did we consume last year? 11, and this made 16, so we're still doing okay. I have three wood kind of in the bank here. Let's merge right there. And now my number one priority, or my next priority, is to get the quarry, which is going to require 15. I think there's enough trees kind of waiting here. Oh, yes, and your, uh, your little uh, peasants, I guess. Sorry, peasants. Ooh, I gained uh, three more workers. Nice. Ten food. Sixteen food. Beautiful. So that's a good amount of food. I will put in one more uh, farm field. And we can improve the efficiency of these too. So we can build a windmill to make these all more productive. The baker will take our bread and turn and a charcoal and turn it into. We'll take our wheat and turn it into bread. The orchards are really cool. Uh, they produce a lot of food. They take up multiple squares, but uh, and they can't be flooded. So honestly, when we can get to orchards, which we can do now, plus one change, I might allow for an orchard to be constructed. Now an orchard is best put on a tile that's very fertile. So does it tell me how much? So this will produce a six output of food per year, plus two because of the, of the higher soil fertility. So you can see that if I shove an orchard here, it's gonna get a bit, it's gonna take advantage of that bonus too. And I think this requires one worker. I think this requires multiple workers to uh, manage. Ooh, and I've got 30 wood, so you know what that means. Uh, Yeah, I'll just put that there. And then I think a couple more. Let's, lay out some, let's plan out some more road here. I wouldn't mind doing... I wouldn't mind keeping a little bit of space here. Oh, not that one. Polish that. And then I would like to do a road from here. No, not along the coastline. Yeah, there. And this is about where my forester is going to live. 
Uh, my lord, life is good here. Our kingdom attracted four new residents, so we're up to 17. So this is going to require three workers to work, but its base output is 18. So this base output is four, 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 and four. So four of these only make 16, where this will produce eight. But these are going to produce different resources. This is going to produce fruit. And these will produce wheat. You kind of need both. Yes, you kind of need you kind of need both. You know, the more uh, the more different varieties of food your uh, your villagers eat, the happier they are. You know, you have a happy mix of wheat, you have a happy mix of fruit, and you have a happy mix of happy little villagers. I'm gonna cut down some more trees. I'm guessing. How are we doing on food? Plus two from last year. We're doing real good then. Uh, another four villagers. Okay. Um, I would like a... I think I better get more wheat fields when I get the chance. Yeah, I better get a few more wheat fields while I got the chance. I don't know if the orchard will produce on its first year or not. Uh, 10 stone this year. Not fully staffed. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what the advisors have to say. More farms. Okay, that's fine. All good advice. Um, pantry. They could use more... They could use access to water. And they like that they have neighbors. They want access to charcoal. Well, I need the forester to really be able to do that. Let's do something... Hang on, I want to do something... Oh, well, where's industry? Ooh, town, let's build a road right here. Oh, there we go. Our first load of stone coming in. We're also, like, out of food in our stockpile, but all of our houses have their own internal. So we're okay for right now. Oh, look at this. This one's going to be a big, big ol' harvest. Alright, so my store, I can store 50 in here. Yeah, look at all that food. We've even got some stone, which is very nice. So with that stone, I now have enough to make a forester. I will put the forester... Like right here seems pretty good. I'll build a little road connecting him so that he can walk a little faster. Then, all right, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build a stockpile. A stockpile is someplace... I forgot that I could just build right in between there. A stockpile is someplace where... a where stone and wood can be dropped off and picked up for... and picked up. Minus 25% minus 25 change from last year? What? It appears my villagers are far too hungry. How do 
did that happen? Am I about to starve an entire village? Man, I hope not. Oh! Uh, congratulations! Bleakshire is now a small village. Yeah, it is. But, uh, it's gonna be a dead village if I don't figure out the food crisis before too long. How do I want to do this? Well, I, I need wood. Hopefully the forester starts kicking off here pretty soon. Still waiting on seven wood. Doing good on quarry stuff, though. I'll feel a lot better when we get this first uh, wood... When we get this first dude figured out. The first uh, lumberjack figured out. Lots of resources being stored. Let's build up another orchard and a couple more small farms. And by a couple more, I guess I mean one. Oh, look, 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 look. It's working. And look, there's a new tree there. So one dude will kind of run around. Uh, 12. That's a 12 wood a year is what that's going to output. So we'll still have to do some manual cutting down of our own, but at least we now have an automated wood cutting process happening. Oh, that feels good. We're up to 28 villagers. Or peasants, peasants. I keep coming calling them villagers. So see, that guy's going to plant the trees, and then another guy's going to cut them. So the one part that kind of sucks about foresters is they really, they li they're like me. They enjoy their personal space. So I can't build them too close to each other. A little regrettable, but it is, it is what it is. I keep wanting to hit escape to get out of it. Might be time for a few more hobbles. Nice. What's my job priority? Builders, I got three. That's not great. Stockpile workers, three. Eh. Timber workers, one. Quarry workers, none. So really, our big problem right now is I just need more population. Uh, everybody's getting... I'm taking advantage of everyone that I can, or everyone's being taken advantage of. Well, I am a this is a kingdom, so yes, everybody is being taken advantage of in the way you think, but... But, uh, anyways. And suddenly I gotta go.